Hello Cancer, getting ready to do your reading. Thanks for stopping by. This is a love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other signs. In the recent past, though, we have the Hermit card. You have been giving a lot of thought. You and your partner, the mutual energy is that both of you have been thinking a lot about the relationship. It is Virgo energy. It looks as though your energy has been the same. You're both searching for answers. The Three of Cups says that you are really love each other, that you're best friends. The way your person sees the situation, Cancer moving forward is very slowly, very methodically. It's Virgo energy. You love each other, but it does look like you could be in separation or you're just separated for practical reasons right now. Your person sees you as very analytical, very smart, very astute, but also as someone who views them with a little bit of skepticism right now. Cancer, we see that your person feels as though you are quite beautiful. You're beautiful inside, beautiful outside. They feel as though you are a rock star. You might be famous, you might not, but they feel as though you are honorable, beautiful, spiritual. You are their wish fulfillment, Cancer. So what do we have? So your person views the situation currently as being stuck and their self-imposed restriction. So your person sees a situation as being something they can't do anything about at this time. Um, you know, energies can be vice versa, but it shows self-imposed restriction, not happy. So your person's not happy without you. Okay? The mutual energy between the two of you is Capricorn. So Cancer, the Capricorn energy is your seventh house. You look like you're very well partnered with this person. You both really value each other. You both care about each other. You both nurture each other. There's a lot of feelings of intense love. This is the money card. It really is a card. You know, what we're seeing here is this beautiful energy of nurturing. Both of you are holding back. Spirit says that right now holding back is appropriate. The message from Spirit is to hold back. Four of Pentacles. What's the outcome? Seven of Wands. Both of you are in a very interesting transition, Cancer. You both have things that you need to accomplish in your life. And the Seven of Wands energy really speaks to the fact that both of you need something more from each other. Both of you are right about the fact that that there are challenges to the relationship. However, it also speaks to the fact that you want each other. You're just very defensive. Both of you feel as though you're very much all up in your head. So we do see Virgo energy. We see Cancerian energy. Aquarius twice. Sagittarius, Gemini, and Capricorn. So you might be dealing with a person with those qualities, but let's dig in here. This is a not a very clear-cut reading. This is not easy to interpret. So, why are the two of you in separation in the recent past? We have the Taurus energy. It kind of came out sideways. It speaks to the fact that there's a lack of... Somebody in the relationship did not want to share. Usually that means that they were really didn't want to share any of their material goods or they were afraid. It does look like this person had a heavy heart when they walked away. But Cancer, I'm not sure which one of you. It looks as though the other part person walked away. The Ten of Wands says a heavy heart. The Moon card says that you both miss each other terribly. You, you were one another's best friends. Look at this energy, though. The Eight of Cups along with the Tower card. So this person walked away from you very slowly over a long period of time. But I don't think that you saw that. I think that... I think for whom this resonates, it won't resonate with everybody, it does look like there was a sudden break. This person walked away very, very suddenly from you. They view you as a person who deserves to have the very best in life. 
They view you as someone who is worthy. I do get other people, though. It looks like somebody in the work environment really got in the way of this connection. And it looks like it's your person's work environment, not yours. This person holds you in their heart. They do love you. They feel as though you are the, an incredible person. The star card is the highest in terms of elevation and love. They see you as this beautiful queen of um, pentacles. They see you as someone who is beautiful inside, beautiful outside, a beautiful spirit, that you deserve the best, that, you know, you you are head over, you know, you, you, you loom very big in their life in terms of what they think of you as a woman or a man. It doesn't matter. It's just energy. But it shows that they do think very highly of you. In their heart space, they love you. They see you as an extreme winner. They see you as somebody who, you know, they would like to announce to their friends. But I'm just not getting action. What do we see? Why is the, the Eight of Swords here tells me that your person is, to me, that's sort of a, an energy of, well, I'm bored. And, you know, I don't really do anything to make it better. But, you know, I'm bored. Cancer, this is your energy. It looks as though your person, it looks like you might have been together for a long time and your person never committed. Your person knows that they treated you badly. The Five of Swords says, well, you know what? It's sort of this, I re, this reminds me of the movie Rambo. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's a movie in which somebody, a military guy, with PTSD gets out of the military and somebody tries to attack him and it's like your person your person was really unfair to you you didn't see it coming that's pretty raw energy five of swords is dishonorable energy towards you they weren't kind they weren't good they kind of don't want to hear it they don't want to hear that they're that they didn't do the right thing by you. That's pretty raw. Look at this. Okay, so your person sees you as marriage material. They see you as a person who would be very much a person that should, you know, should be married, that you give in that way, that you're a good wife, you're a good mother, you have that nurturing quality about you. Spirit is saying that for you to hold back because this person just wants fun, eat, drink, and be merry. This is not going to resonate with everyone. Please remember, this is not a personal reading. So if it doesn't resonate, check out your Moon Rising and Venus. Because a lot of times people get really upset. They think, oh, that's not the way it is. But I'm really feeling very much that, that this person just is sort of like a fun time. You know, that's they may drink a lot. They may party a lot. The Ace of Coins reverse means no investment. That you should hold back from this person because there's no investment. Why are both of you feeling defensive? The Wheel of Fortune. So circumstances look like they, they just sort of swept somebody out of your life. Somebody with whom you had a strong connection. Somebody who was a best friend. Somebody who you were with a long time, when we look at Virgo energy, it's usually a very grounded, long-lasting relationship. It wasn't fair. You didn't see it coming. Wow. Okay. So let's look and see what the messages of love are in the Oracle cards. What do you need to know about this connection? New love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. Okay. So it does show that it's not necessarily over. I don't really, you know, it looks as though you haven't seen each other. It looks as though you, the way they treated you without a lot of warning was bra. But it does show the possible reconciliation. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. So it looks as though they know they're deficient. They know you deserve everything. They see you as a rock star. Cancer. Different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. All right, so it looks like a mismatch, a classic mismatch. It does show that you really had fun. When it was good, it was great. They think that you're beautiful. They think that you're special. Serendipity. 
You know, it shows that you may run into this person, you may start again. It'll come out of the blue. Yeah, here we go, going the distance. I do want to look into this energy, though. Before we leave the reading, I'm going to really look at this energy uh, from the uh, Heart of the Fairy Oracle to see what the underlying causes were for this, because this person seems like they're all over the map. A change is in the wind. Okay. So I see that as a favorable change. See how beautiful this card is. It's really pretty. So I do see something really favorable happening in this relationship. Let's look at Heart of the Fairy Oracle and see if we can figure out why this person is so mismatched with you. What is it about this person that Cancer needs to know? It isn't your fault. There's nothing you could have done. It just looks very much, yeah, the paradox. The paradox, this person is not what they seem to be. Whatever it is that you think about them, there are things that you don't know. The queen of the owls, you possess a wisdom that they really respect, but this person is not as they appear. The gift, wow. They saw you as a gift in their life. Why did they leave? Why did they leave? This person seems to have really walked away and devastated you. Why did they leave? Lady of Unicorns, you were wonderful, you were beautiful, you were special. They didn't think they were good enough for you. Your person does not think they were good enough for you. And by their behavior, they proved that they didn't have the wherewithal or the ability to really be the person that you need. Let's see what the Destiny cards have for your sacred destiny. Please tell us what the destiny of this relationship is. Oops, lots of cards flying around. Okay. Okay. Gateway. Oh, interesting. So the destiny of this relationship is delight. So it does look like you reconnect. Okay, because you do have the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. So this person is missing you. But it does look like you will delight each other once again. We're getting the gateway. The portal is opening. Oh, good. The portal is opening. I think that's the name. Serendipity. Just, just circumstances are conspiring. Releasing and success. So when we look at release, we're looking at this energy of letting bygones be got bygones. You can't hold a grudge. You can't, you're just going to have to release your energy about this. The timing wasn't right. Now you have divine timing and we get success. So it does look like your, your wishes for this relationship are going to come to pass. But your person is, you know, they really feel like actually you deserve better than them. Um, you know, I guess it'll be up to you to remain to see if you think that they're going to fulfill your wishes. It does show you have success here coming. The unicorn also says that there's something in your relationship that shows me that they can't get what they can get from you with anyone else. The five of wands, ego driven. This person has a big ego. Leo energy. They're fiery and proud, but a lot. Very prickly. Ooh, prickly energy. Ay, 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 five of swords, five of swords. This person, it's weird. It's weird energy. It's almost like they're either hurting somebody or they're being hurt by somebody. This person has some shadow work to do for sure. They do see you as elevated and beautiful and special. They don't think that you deserve what they did, but ooh, mask. So this person really does not, they're not what you think they are, Cancer. This person has issues that you just can't figure out. So I would be careful. It does show that the two of you will come back into union. But it does look as though you should be very, very careful with them. Those energies are very, very dark. And it looks as though they, they either stay, they put themselves in these very dramatic situations. You know, when we look at this card of, oh, look at this, the Ten of Swords. So, Cancer, it's, the thing you need to look out for is that this person, 
Look at all the drama. Look at this. We have scorpion. White scorpion versus black scorpion. And look at how unfair the match is. It's not a fair match. You know, five of swords, again, is somebody who has little regard for fair play. The mask says that maybe, you, you know, you're not seeing everything you need to see. And the Ten of Swords is a betrayal of some sort. Oh, I don't like car. I don't like, I don't like this energy. That's for sure. So let's see what, boy, I'm like out of cards here. How can you best protect yourself? Let's look at that. Can you, can you protect yourself in this situation? Can you find happiness with this person, Cancer? Because it, it, okay, let's see. All the glitters is not gold. They're never going to be what they seem to be. So I, for many of you, you know this. You know, you've come to the reading to sort of have this energy confirmed for you. For others of you, it's not your reading, but TikTok, it's only a matter of time before the alarm bells go off. And you will find peace and happiness. You do have great success, great happiness. You may want to release this energy with this person. This may, it looks like it's a karmic relationship for many of you. But look at this energy. You have the Black Panther of success. So whatever it is, whatever it is that brought you two together, you're really able to transcend and find your happiness. Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love. Bye-bye. Take care.